Hey guys, what's up? It's FemGem here, and today I want to put out a quick video. I'm not going to be that long, but I just wanted to discuss the um, new band link that dropped today. Um, I'm not going to obviously show you what the band list is, because I know there's a bunch of creators out there that are like doing the band list right now, but um, I just wanted to give my discussion on it more than anything, because it's not really worth doing the whole rolling through the ban list when there's a million other videos that do that. Um, I would say it's a pretty weak ban list, truthfully. It, I think it was more just a ban list that just hit some stuff, but then it, like, didn't really address, I feel like, the bigger problems. Well, it, it did address the bigger problems. The only thing was, it didn't address what will be the upcoming decks. Like, it didn't hit Dino at all. I'm pretty sure it only hit, like, Dragon Link and the Infernoble Knights. Um, the two bands were, um, the Dragon Buster Sword, which I, I can see how, why you want to ban that, because it is annoying that you can't use your extra deck or it locks you out of certain things with the game, which is unfair, but. I also see it as, like, a lot of cards do that besides Dragon Buster Sword, like, Marfage Goliaths or other cards, so. Definitely a little bit interesting. Um, I was surprised that Guard Dragon Elfie did not get hit. I was really surprised. Like, I have the whole Dragon Eating combo, which is basically a Dragon Link deck, truthfully, at this point. Where, basically, um, I would probably have to work around it a lot. Or work around my combos if I did not have LP. So that was, um, Elfie's a really cool extender. Um, they hit Smoke Grenade, which I understand why they hit it. No, it's not fun having card ripped out of your hand. A lot of the, um, actually water decks, like Atlanteans or other things, will actually have the ability to rip cards out of your hand, but I'm not sure nobody's playing those, so I guess that's probably why they don't ban them. But, um, basically, having cards ripped out of your hand is really annoying. I never ran into it personally, because I never really play that much against different Noble Knights. I think I ran into them, like, once or twice on, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Nexus. But I never ran into them in person, so... I never really had a problem with the card, but I understand. Rip cards out of the hand, you gotta go. My biggest thing that I'm happy they banned <laughs> was Linkross. <laughs> that card, like, it, it can only really just sound stupid whenever they print that. Like, I, I, I'm, like, wondering how, sh like, about their intelligence here. Every single ban list, every single thing, they ban a card that generates tokens. Next thing you know, like, in the last, in the next release, they get another card that generates tokens. You gotta learn. Learn that token generators are not healthy for the game. Just don't allow it, especially with links and whatnot. Like, if links didn't exist, maybe token generators wouldn't be that bad. But if links exist, token generators will not exist. <laughs> but, um, that was that. Semi Linux, I think they basically kept it near a militia there, and I think they added one more. I forgot exactly what it was, but. Hopefully, there's only actually two cards on the Definitely Limited list, which excites me because I want to see that list gone. Definitely Limits, like, do nothing really. Like, it's better off just having card unlimited or straight up having it at one. Like, it just, or even just banned. Semi Limited basically does nothing, like, so I don't even know why that list exists, but that basically is it. And then, basically, for the unlimits. They basically just took whatever was left on the semi-limited list and put it onto the unlimited list. So we're talking about um totally awesome. We're talking about um I, I can't totally remember them. Um, everything that was on the semi-limited list, you can look it up yourself, and then obviously you can look up videos on creators and whatnot that are showcasing it right now. But um, that was my thoughts. So um, I'm a little bit pissed because. Dinosaurs are going to be running around the meta. They are going to be the new meta, I feel like. 
with no hits, double lines, hitting, most miscellaneous Thoris. He can't speak at all. And no hits, the true king of all calamities. Which, I don't even mind that they didn't hit miscellaneous Thoris that much. But, why didn't you hit true king, king of all calamities? Like, why? It just pisses me off. He's like, I feel like that, that, that card can be run in other decks other than Dino. It's harder to get him out with other decks other than Dino, but still, that card is a walking floodgate. Like, I just don't like that. Even though I actually play a lot of floodgates. I play control. But, my problem is I don't mind when Spell of the Traps have control. I mind when I have a huge-ass monster... That it's literally just stopping me from a mechanic of the game. And the only way I can either kill it is by attacking into it. Or having the idea that, okay, let me just um, somehow find a way to overpower this monster. I, I, I don't like floodgates that much, but I understand why they're in the game. I think there's some good floodgates like... um. I would say maybe like anti spell fragrance and um summon limit pretty good. We got um there can only be one. I feel like there's a lot of ways to work around that, so I really don't feel like that's bi that big a problem. Rivalry of warlords. It's annoying, but I think they're alright. But um True King Calamity definitely should have gone, but I can only hope for next ban list, you know. So, um yeah, that's pretty much it. Dinos is going to be running the meta. Congrats. Hope um, Team Samurai X1 is having a field day right now. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.